What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. And today I wanna to show you what I think is the best team out there in Madden Ultimate Team right now. I just completely changed my squad to a Seattle 50 out of 50 plus Dallas 25 out of 25 theme team. I've been talking this week about how you can now build a 50 plus 25 theme team with certain teams. If you haven't checked out that video on how to do that, definitely check that out. And the triple 25 theme team I put out last week. I will pin them both in the comment section below so you guys can access those. I've also been building 50 plus 25 theme teams for you guys with the Team Builder app on Mutt.gg. I built a Minnesota and Dallas team the other day. If you want me to build a team for you guys, let me know in the comment section and I will definitely get that done. And if you do find this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe so you can see future content. Most of my videos are theme team related as that is my passion in Madden 22, building the best theme teams. All right, so let's get right into this team. So as you can see, we have a 97 overall with 97 offense, 98 defense. And uh, offensive line here is awesome. Uh, we only have one weak spot here with Blayel Collins at right tackle. Uh, and I mean, I say weak spot, it's a 93 overall. Uh, so I think this is the best offensive line in the Madden Ultimate Team when you combine two teams. Um, we have Walter Jones at left tackle, 97 overall. Larry Allen at 97 overall for left guard. Kevin Mawai at center with 98 overall. Zach Martin, 98 overall at right guard. And Leo Collins at right tackle. Larry Allen is a card that you will need to have on your squad because he's the Team Diamonds 2 master. He gets times 3 chemistry. For quarterback, um, rocking with Dan Marino, um, running the hot route master, quick draw, and pass lead abilities, pass lead elite abilities on him with the Omaha X Factor. He's got 80 speed, 94 throw power, 93 short accuracy, 95 medium, 96 deep, 96 throw under pressure, 82 throw on the run, and 96 play action. Obviously, he's throwing the runs a little bit lower than you'd like, uh, but it is what it is there. Uh, but I tested out a lot of quarterbacks in Madden, and I generally always go back to Dan Marino. I think he's a really good card. You could also use Russell Wilson if you wanted the new Legends card that came out last week, uh, but I like to run with um, Hot Rod Master, so uh, I like to use Dan Marino. For starting running back, we got Tony Pollard here, at 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 agility, 92 carrying, 73 catch, 96 change of direction, 95 truck, and 99 break tackle. Running the Freight Train X Factor on him, uh, we have Jerry Race here at wide receiver 1, 99 speed, 94 jumping, 98 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 96 spec catch, 94 short route running, 96 medium, and 99 deep route running using the route tech ability on him along with the double B X factor. Percy Harvin here at wide receiver 2, he's got 99 speed, 90 jumping, 95 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 91 spec catch, 95 short route running, 96 medium, 95 deep route running, uh, running the deep out elite ability on him. And you'll notice that Jerry Rice and Percy Harvin only needed plus 3 in order to get to 99 speed. So that allows me to use a different rare strategy card, which I'll show you guys my strat cards at the end of the video. Um, with wide receiver three here being Devin Hester, he only gets to 98 speed, still good though, but um, I don't use him that often. I do like to run some double tight end sets, uh, but he's got 98 speed, 94 jumping, 95 catch, 93 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 95 short route running, 95 medium and 95 deep route running. We have Blake Jarwin at starting tight end, um, running the deep out elite ability on him for just one AP. He's got 93 speed, 79 strength, 99 catching, 93 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 92 short rep running, 89 medium and 88 run block. So really good run blocker also. I uh, do wish his medium rep running was at least 90, but again, it is what it is there. He is six foot five. Backup tight end, Billy Joe Dupree. He's got 93 speed, 86 strength, 96 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 95 short route running, 92 medium, and 86 run block. Um, really good card here too, especially for a backup tight end. And that's the offense. Um, so running the post-up abilities on my guards, uh, so Larry Allen and Zach Martin. And then the other required cards in here that you'll need are the Billy Joe Dupree tight end. He's the Team Diamonds 1 card for the Cowboys, and Dalton Schultz is the Stocking Stuffer card for the uh, Cowboys also. So those cards get additional team chemistry, so you'll need that. Along with Sean Alexander at backup running back, um, he's the Team Diamonds 2 card for the Seahawks, uh, so he gets times 3 chem, and Ezekiel Elliott at the third running back gets times 2 chemistry for the Cowboys for being the Gridiron card. And then I mentioned Larry Allen is a required card also. Um, I have Marshawn Lynch, you can see, at backup fullback. He gets all team chemistry or any team chemistry. 
Um, so I already have the card, so I just put him in. Uh, there is another fullback um, that the Seahawks have, and then also Dallas has a fullback if you wanted to insert them instead of Marshawn Lynch if you don't want to spend the 90 to 100K for him if you don't already have him. For the defense, and this is my favorite part of the team uh, because of the combination of height and speed, I don't have any defensive backs that I use on the field that are under six feet tall, and I only have one six foot tall uh, defensive back with Sean Springs um, and only one six foot one tra um, defensive back with Trayvon Diggs. Everybody else is 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". Um, so let me get right into cornerback one here with Trayvon Diggs. He's got 98 speed, 97 excel, 95 agility, eight, 98 jumping, 97 play rec, 98 man coverage, 98 zone, and 93 press. Again, he's six foot one with the acrobat ability on him. Sean Springs here with 99 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 agility, 98 jump, 98 play rec, 92 man coverage, 99 zone, and 93 press using the mid zone KO ability on him with the universal coverage X factor. I use him as my slot cornerback, which is why I have the mid zone ability on him. For cornerback three, we have Richard Sherman here. Uh, he's got 99 speed, 96 Excel, 91 agility, 98 jumping, 95 play rec, 96 man coverage, 99 zone and 95 press. Uh, using him in the uh, like strong safety position because of the fact that he gets that mid zone K ability for one AP because he's a zone archetype. Um, so he plays the curl and hard flats on the right side of the field for me where Sean Springs plays those on the left side. Um, I normally would like my taller cornerbacks on the outside, but because of the uh, man and zone archetypes of my other defensive backs, um, I got to put him in, the, um, in that right side slot area where the strong safety plays. For cornerback four, who plays every single down for me, I got DK Metcalf out of position cornerback card. He's got 99 speed, 96 excel, 90 agility, 90 jumping, 84 play rec, 96 man coverage, 97 zone, and 95 press. Um, obviously, his play rec is a little lower, but he's an out of position wide receiver playing quarterback, so understandable by EA there. Uh, he is six foot three, so really good to have on the outside. Got the acrobat ability on him. Taylor Mays at free safety. He plays that uh, deep safety for me. Uh, so I got the deep end zone KO ability on him. He's got 98 speed, 96 excel, 89 tackling, 96 play rec, 95 pursuit, 92 man, 99 zone, and 96 hip power. He's also six foot three, so love to see that height there. For backup free safety, and he doesn't play the field for me because of his height, but I wanted to highlight this for you and show you guys that he gets plus five speed because of the fact that he gets all NFL chemistries. So he gets plus two for my rare strap cards. He gets plus two speed for being a part of the Seahawks team team. And he gets plus one also for being a part of the Cowboys, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, he's got 99 speed, 99 Excel, 92 tackling, 92 play rec, 94 pursuit, 87 man coverage, and 96 zone coverage with 96 hit power. He's five foot 10. Again, big reason why I don't have him out in the field, uh, Jordan Whitehead. For starting strong safety on the squad, but he doesn't actually play the field for me, um, is Jamal Adams until he gets an upgrade. Um, and his speed is a little bit higher, then uh, that's when he'll play the field for me. But uh, he's only, he's got 97 speed, which would be slower than anybody else I've got. Um, I use safeties in at uh, where my sub linebackers are. Uh, so I will show you guys um, those after I show you the rest of the defense here. Uh, Cam Chancellor, another card that I don't use uh, really ever. It's more of just a, a filler. I already got him maxed out anyway, uh, but he's only got 96 speed. So big reason why I don't have him out in the field. Um, I do have the out of the way um, ability uh, on him, but it's free in that fourth ability slot for Cam Chancellor. Um, but he is six foot three. So when he does get an upgrade, it is going to be a really good card. He just, they need to update the ultimate champion program. It has not been updated since the game started. For middle linebacker, I want to show you what Luke Keekley looks like maxed out uh, with the theme team boost. He's got 98 speed, 97 excel, 89 strength, 97 tackling, 97 play rec, 95 block shed, 99 hit power, and 96 zone coverage. Uh, he is six foot three, which is awesome also. So really great stats. I mean, he doesn't play the field that much for me. You'd have to put the lurker ability on him so that he gets the animations. Um, and I just like the rest of the uh, safeties that I have and the sub linebackers that I use that I'll show you guys uh, afterwards. Uh, Robert Quinn at right outside linebacker does not play the field for me really um, unless if it's a 3-4 uh, setup uh, but because of that AD finesse move it's just too low I used Arakpo when I was running the Washington theme team and his uh, finesse be move being so low they just they just don't get around the edge in my opinion if their finesse move is below 90. Uh, Michael Parsons at left outside linebacker. I do use him as an edge rusher, um, even though his power move is under 90. Um, but because of his combination of speed and finesse move, I do see that he gets around the edge. Um, and he's a run stopper archetype, so if they run the ball, 
Uh, he's got really good block shed also. So he's got 96 speed, 96 excel, 87 strength, 97 tackling, 91 play rec, 92 block shed, 83 power move, and 95 finesse move. He's also six foot three. For uh, the defensive line, uh, Randy Gregory, he's an awesome, awesome uh, pass rusher and uh, run stopper here. He's got 94 speed, 96 excel, 97 strength, 98 tackling, 91 play rec, 97 block shed, 94 power move, and 97 finesse move. He's also six foot six. He's a little, little lighter uh, for a defensive lineman at 242, uh, but he still plays really well for me. I have the unpredictable ability on him. He is probably the, I'm sorry, not even probably. He is definitely the most expensive card uh, that you will, will need for this team. His uh, LTD team of the week, 97 overall card is going for over 1 million. I think I, I, think I paid maybe 950K for it, uh, but it's extremely expensive, uh, FYI in advance. Uh, Jack Youngblood, the uh, team captain card here, um, starting left end. He's also my um, like defensive tackle position uh, because of the fact that he's got the block shed power move, finesse move over 90, but he's got 91 speed, 95 excel, 93 strength, 92 tackling, 95 play rec, 93 block shed, 93 power move, and 95 finesse move. Uh, he's a, just a really good card. Uh, I you know find that he sheds really good. He got he's got the unpredictable ability on him. I'm also testing out the defensive rally ability, uh, which gives all the defensive linemen an extra pass rush point on third down and fourth down. I've heard people had good success with that. Kevin Williams, who plays the other defensive tackle position on my uh, on my pass rush, uh, he's got 81 speed, 87 excel, 98 strength, 95 tackling, 97 play rec, 97 block shed, 97 power move and 93 finesse move. So really good card here, a little bit slower, uh, but he's a big guy at 311 pounds. Um, I do find that he is really good. He gets really good sheds also. Uh, you've got the unpredictable ability on him. And that's the defense guys. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the subline backers in a couple screens. Uh, but here you can see we have uh, Michael Dixon as the punter uh, and Nick Volk as our kicker, uh, both team of the year card. So another awesome thing about this pairing of teams is that they both get the um, team of the year card. So your punter and kicker are uh, already a 96 overall. Uh, getting back to the defense though, I wanted to uh, kind of quickly mention uh, which cards you need to have on your team. Um, so Nadama Kansu at backup right end uh, and gets all NFC team chemistry. So you need to have that card on your team along with Jordan Whitehead um, at backup free safety because he gets all NFL teams. Leonard Floyd at backup left outside linebacker uh, because he gets all NFC teams also. Um, and then I think that that is it for the required cards on here. Um, oh, the stocking stuffer back up right outside linebacker, Benson Mayoya. Um, he's the stocking stuffer for um, the Seahawks. All right, so getting back to the specialist area. So I was telling you about my sub linebackers. We have Isaiah Simmons. Uh, here at the first sub linebacker and Derwin James. So I do have him powered up uh, all the way up. You can't get his card yet, but you can insert the training. It's 24,000 training. Uh, if you want to go ahead and put that in for him to upgrade him all the way, I personally think it's worth it. You'll see why in a second. But um, so we have, I mentioned earlier, Randy Gregory and Michael Parsons as my edge rushers with Jack Youngblood and Kevin Williams in the middle. Sean Springs is my slot. Isaiah Simmons, uh, I have the mid zone KO ability on him. Uh, he plays a sub linebacker. He's got 98 speed, 96 excel, 89 tackling, 93 play rec, 96 pursuit, 98 man coverage, 99 zone, and 97 hit power. He's also six foot four, which is awesome. And then Derwin James, which is the card that I use her. I use her him over Isaiah Simmons because Isaiah Simmons has the uh, zone archetype. So he, um, so he gets the um, mid zone KO ability for just one AP, where Derwin James would cost two AP because he's a hybrid archetype. Uh, but Derwin James gets 99 speed, 96 excel, 92 tackling, 93 play rec, 96 pursuit, 89 man coverage, 98 zone, and 98 hit power. He's also six foot two, which is good. Uh, but another reason why I use him over Isaiah Simmons is James's man coverage is only 89. Uh, doesn't get to that 90 threshold. So another reason why I use him over Isaiah Simmons so I can mix my man and zone uh, coverage schemes. Um, so Isaiah Simmons could just play man coverage. And here we got our rare strategy cards. Obviously we use, have to use the Seahawks offense and de defense playbooks. I have the um, zone run um, rare strategy card. So I could use this because I only need to use one wide receiver speed boost strat card, um, which gives extra boost to uh, run block finesse, break tackle, lead block, run block, and strength. 
actually the and the zone run this card gives uh boost to every single position on the offense which is huge also now we got the deep route specialist card that give boost to wide receivers for deep route running release catch awareness and speed I have two in the zone uh, strategy cards, um, both obviously for zone coverage, play rec, and awareness. This one gives for boost for man coverage and speed, and then the other one gives for tackling and speed. And then obviously we have the John Madden uh, coach so that we can get Seattle uh, chemistry. You can also use the uh, Seattle head coach. And then we got the Seahawks stadium and Seahawks uniforms. And that's it for today's video, guys. If you did find this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe so that you can see future content. And I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want me to build two specific teams for a 50 plus 25 theme team, or if you want me to build a triple 25 theme team, let me know in the comments and I can get that done. And thank you for watching.